circuit room. Uh, you've got a you've got a light bulb replacement. Yeah. So, um, keeping on the pinball theme, uh, pinballs historically have used incandescent light bulbs, and you know we they burn out and there's all kinds of issues with uh, bulbs. It'd be nice to replace them with LEDs, but there's some really downside to LEDs if you were to put them directly into a row column scanned pinball playfield. One of the things is since it's row column scanned for each of these light bulbs on the playfield, it would flicker a lot. And when the ball rolls across the playfield, it'd be like stop, anim or stop motion uh, strobe light. It's very annoying when I look at people that have replaced bulbs with with LEDs. So I've come up with a circuit that emulates the on-ramp time and the off-ramp time of a light bulb to turn an LED on and off. It's a configuration of how the row column scanning works on a pinball play field. You'll have, have rows and columns of wires that run all over the play field and you ground one wire and you put a positive voltage on another wire and you'll make a path where you can turn one bulb on at a time. Since bulbs have a filament that heat up real slow and stay glowing, you don't have to refresh these row columns very often because the bulb will be glowing um, between times you go through and sequentially scan these. But if you replace this, this with an LED, since they turn on almost instantaneously, you'll have a lot of flickering. All right, so this is the circuit that I put together that you would you would plug directly into the row column scan in between where the light bulb would go. When you turn it, when the row column scan turns on a light bulb, the current would flow through this diode, charge up this large capacitor, which would be tanking up this this voltage and storing it for times that the row column scan is not on. Here we have a Darlington pair, which I just built them out of 2N3904 NPN transistors. This is a high gain circuit that doesn't take very much um, current to turn on a, a voltage path through this LED. We have a current limiting resistor here so we don't burn out the LED. And then I have an RC time constant here. So when you, when the circuit is turned on, voltage would flow through this resistor and slowly charge up this capacitor, which would slowly turn on the LED. When the voltage is removed, now this capacitor has stored up a small charge, which is keeping the LED on for a, a moment. And this bleed resistor, this 4K here, slowly bleeds it down. So the LED turns on slow and turns off slow. Um, you can adjust these different values for how slow and how fast you want the LED to turn on and off. Here's an example circuit that I put together on the prototype board. I have a regular light bulb that's hooked up to the same power source so we can see how at the speed that it turns on and off. And then here's the Darlington pair and all the capacitors wired in this area and there's a white LED here. So if I if I touch the circuit you can see that the time that they come on and off is approximately the same in this this circuit. And I'd like to also show by just changing one of the components here, the capacitor, which you could also change the resistors to, you can change the, the time constant that it takes for the LED to turn on and off. And this might be important depending on the type of LED that you're working with or the type of pinball machine or incandescent light bulb circuit that you're trying to emulate.